What's going on guys, it's Might Be, and today we have a good one. So today we're going to be talking about the top 7 game modes I'd like to see in Star Wars Squadrons. And this is just kind of a video I've wanted to make for a while, as these are game modes that I think should be in the game, should definitely be in the multiplayer, that would be a lot of fun. Big points that they missed out on during Star Wars Battlefront 2 and the Hero Starfighters is there weren't a lot of, like, it wasn't obviously, it was just kind of a side mode with ships, but obviously as since this is a focused flying game, I could really see us wanting these maps. So today, I'm going to be going over the top seven ones that I would like to see. If you haven't seen me before, welcome to the channel. My name is Might Be, and I come out with Star Wars content daily. If you like the type of video, then drop a like, and I love talking about all this in the comments. Well, as always, let's get right into it. So number one today is going to be zone domination. So zone domination is not like your ideal Call of Duty domination, but you would have an A flag, B flag, C flag, and you would kind of just, these would be section places. What I would like to see in zone domination is the domination points would end up being ships. So if you were the, if you were the rebels, you would be trying to destroy the Empire's bases, and they would all just kind of be star fleets and kind of things, and once you dominate that, then your own ship would go and take over this. That would be my idea of zone domination. That's what it's at the number one spot. I think that could be a lot of fun. It has a lot of potential in the new Star Wars Squadrons game. Today at number two, we have Team Deathmatch. Now, I can't really see a game that is Star Wars based that is a shooter and is just kind of like what it's going to be without having a Team Deathmatch. Now, this was already confirmed based on other people's gameplay, but this is kind of a game mode that you just have to have in a game. It could be just Empire versus Rebels, and it would be really fun just going out and slaying and going on crazy kill streaks, flying through the outer rim maybe, and just having a really fun time. And that's why it's at our two spot today, and I think it could be a really promising and fun game mode that I'm excited to see in Star Wars Squadrons. At number three today, we have Capture the Flag. Now, Capture the Flag could be a lot of different things, and they could tie it in to be a lot of different things, but I could see it being really fun, having it behind like a Starfighter and having it behind just a giant just Star Destroyer in general would be a lot of fun to go after. You'd have to go through the waves of enemies that you're going to have to face, as well as the AI turrets. I think it could be a lot of fun. And you and a squad of guys could just go back on a flank and try to take the flag and take it back to your own base. I think it could be a lot of fun to have a lot of potential. So that's why it's at the number four spot today. At number five today, we have a game mode that I have been kind of thinking about. This isn't really in any other games, but it's Protect the Cargo. So in my identity what I think of this game mode being is I think of this game mode as being just like a protect the cargo like protecting the Jedi protecting needed materials to get to the rebel base and basically you're just trying to protect this cargo while it's going to a specific point flying to a specific point while you've got dreadnoughts shooting at it you've got TIE destroyers trying to shoot it down and take you out with it and your whole purpose of that as a rebel is kinda just to protect the cargo I think it could be a really fun game mode and I could see it being an amazing fun thing that kinda just comes in Star Wars Squadron so that's why it's at the 5 spot today at number six today, we have classic free-for-all. Now, I don't want them to make the mistake of having a flying game without free-for-all. Like, I would love to just absolutely sometimes be on my own and kill everything. This doesn't mean that you're really on any faction or team, and I know that that's why it kind of differs away from some of the Star Wars games. So this is kind of its own section, but I would love to have a free-for-all game mode where I can kind of just go against other people and just fight against other people and see if I can go on crazy streaks, kind of just hold down a lane of the map, and I think it would be a lot of fun to have free-for-all in a Star Wars flying game. So that's why it's at the number six spot today. At our last one today, wrapping up the list, number seven is a small-scale galactic assault. So... Galactic Assault could be put in two different ways, so that's why I kind of put it at 7 slash 8 slash kind of just honestly 4, but this is why I'm talking about it at the end, so this is the 4 and 7 spot. So anyways, Galactic Assault could be 50-50 or 20-20. Now, I want both modes. The reason why you may be like, why do you want two modes? It's the same mode. Well, I want to have a large-scale Starfighter Assault where you are fighting starships and you are kind of just taking care of zones, destroying things, and kind of just going for complete domination of that map. But I also want to have a smaller-scale version of that same one, so this is why this is two separate ones. The reason I would want a smaller skill one is because smaller skill game modes are different and they end up being a lot more fun. I would like to compare this to Capital Supremacy and Galactic Assault. Both are really fun modes, but the large scale plays a lot different than Galactic Assault. I would say that GA plays a lot different than Supremacy in Star Wars Battlefront 2 right now, and this is why I'm saying they should transfer the same idea 
into Star Wars Squadrons. Don't take what's not broken, take what's good, and I think that that would be the smartest thing for the Star Wars franchise. And that's why it's coming at the number 4 slash 7 spot today as our kind of just last two picks. But anyways guys, if you like this video, please drop a like as it really helps out the channel. And I just love making videos like this, so if you guys want to talk about it, if you think I missed anything out, I would love to have a discussion with you guys in the comment section below, as I loved interacting with subscribers and friends. And anyways, just let me know what your thoughts are on this video. If you thought I missed anything, if you thought that I should have added anything else, just let me know. And thank you guys so much for taking time of your day to watch this video. Might be out.